It never fails. Anytime I use this thing, I always think that this little hockey puck's gonna shoot right up and put a hole in my house. You guys are in for a treat. We're gonna have two videos coming up. Today, what we're gonna be cooking is two things. So remember whenever I processed the rabbits, that video. I have done some cooking of the rabbits and I've shown you all some of that, but today I'm really excited. I'm gonna do something for the very first time. We have two rabbits and what we're gonna do is we're going to pressure cook them in our all-American pressure canner. It's the first time that we've ever cooked in our pressure canner. We've canned all the time, but this is the first time that we've ever actually cooked in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quarter these guys up and then I'm gonna set them in the canner and we're gonna cook them for about 15 minutes. It's super cool, it only is gonna take 15 minutes and then the meat is just gonna be like falling off the bone. And in the next video, we're gonna cook rabbit pot pie. Yeah, we're gonna make chicken pot pie with rabbit. I'm excited. All right, got everything, salt and pepper. Say hi. Mom. You're out of focus, Kelly, but that's okay. Uh, salt Sorry, of my life. Salt and peppered the rabbits, and then going to start the, you the meat cooker. All right, I'm gonna put about two cups of water in the canner cooker. Something that you wanna make sure that you have in there is this great You don't want the meat to be right there. So two cups, like that. Then just kind of start putting the meat on. Anytime you want to use the all-American canner cooker thing, you want to rub the brim around the cooker and the lid of the cooker with some olive oil. It just helps with the seal. So I just put some olive oil on a paper towel. Rub that around. Then I'm gonna do the same with the lid. Something that you wanna remember about this canner is you want to make sure that you line up this little arrow with this notch. And then you really want the lid to be about the same distance all the way around. And the best way to make sure of that is you just loosely tighten one side and then you're gonna loosely tighten the opposite side. And then once you get everything loose on there, then you tighten them opposite and you just kinda rotate around, finger tight. And then just quickly inspect that your lid is even around the sides. Perfect. Go ahead and crank it up. All right, now what I'm gonna do is let this go on high and wait for a consistent steam to come out. I'm not too worried about crazy procedures because I'm not trying to can. I'm just cooking. So I'm just gonna wait till the steam comes out. I'm gonna put the regulator, I just call it the hockey puck. I'm gonna put the hockey puck on the canner, steam, vent, thingamajigger and then I'm going to wait and let it cook for about 15 minutes because I think this is probably about three pounds of rabbit. Also, this method could be the same for really kind of any kind of small game. Uh, you can even, I've seen people do turkeys in these and it takes like an hour to, hour and a half to cook a turkey. Three pounds? You think it's more? I think they're at least two pounds each. So I've seen that you're gonna do about three to five minutes per pound. Three to five minutes per pound, make it happen. It's not gonna hurt anything. Really, it's gonna cook it. What you're doing with this pressure canning thing is, if you want it a little bit more, then, then just you're gonna have more meat fall off the bone. So 
Um, but of course you can't really check it because you gotta let the pressure out. So I don't know, we might do like 15, 20 minutes. It never fails. Anytime I use this thing, I always think that this little hockey puck's gonna shoot right up and put a hole in my house. Timer went off, it was about 17 minutes. Turn the fire off. Now I'm just gonna wait for the pressure to release and we'll see how it did. All right, done. So basically what I do is I wait till the pressure is at zero and then I take the puck off, loosen it all, and then let's see. Looks done. So that means it's gonna fall off. All right, so let's just see. Oh yeah. That's what we want. You like it? All right, success. Uh, I've not tried it yet. Pressure cooked it really fast. On the next video, you'll see us take this cooked meat and put it in rabbit pot pie. Your excitement overwhelms contain me. Contain it. Cannot contain. Cannot be contained. In any container. I cannot be contained in any container. You quitter. Finley, say hello to the people. They have missed you. She looks also equally enthusiastic. Finley. Oh, Finley. She's looking at the screen. Say hello, everybody. Can yeah, you can taste it. That was, it's hot. It's like, um, kind of tastes like when we can wings and thighs. Really? It's not bad. No. It'll be really good, I think, in the pot pie. Yeah, it's kind of bland, but well, we didn't want to overpower it with... We'll season it. I just wanted enough season to like give it something. So if I had to do it over again, I probably would have seasoned it a little bit more. Next video, we're having pot pie. I'm just cooking down my my chicken, my my rabbit chicken, and I put in some of my favorite oh, vegetables. Oh, it's just my way of making things work on the suburban homestead. YouTube's gonna be so mad at you.